Are you suffering from atomic piles? Do you find that your megahertz? <laughs> then dig this. More stars than Star Trek. More holes than the black hole. More puckles than Apocalypse Now. It's the Cammy Everett Show. Whoa, whoa, the Cammy Everett Show. Show, 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 Hello. I'm standing in for Kenny Everett this week because he's in the editing suite trying to make sense of last week's show. Are you worried about your weight? Have you tried all the diets and they just don't work? Can't get through a revolving door? Well, here's the answer. You're not going to believe this. This is an actual true thing that you put inside the fridge. It's from America, of course. What you do is you connect it to the door of the refrigerator, and every time you open the door to get a fattening little snacky poo, the door triggers off this device. Let's put the mic in close. Ready? So I open the door, and it goes... <laughs> it's enough to keep you away from cream cakes. There's, there's a part two as well. You'll be sorry, fatty. Do yourself a favor. Shut the door. Isn't that great? <laughs> are, you, are you eating again? Are you eating again? Are you? No wonder you have to wait. Excuse me. <laughs> that was sent in to us by... Adam Raphael of St. James Court, Marlborough Crescent, London, W4, who'll be probably getting a postal order from Thames Television. What do I do these crummy parts? <laughs> Hello, my little fondue dips. I think that you have already met Agnes. Isn't she just... <clears throat> She's... I have written a little poem about the camel you like. I hope she likes it. It goes, the sexual urge of the camel is greater than anyone thinks. <laughs> One day, in a fit of the passion, she said, I cannot go on with this act. <laughs> I know it is big checks, but really. You know, we used to have one of these at home, but the wheel fell off. <laughs> My God, it's the one we had at home. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's time for hot gossip now. Those madcap personalities of naughtiness. Actually, what they do isn't really rude. It's not suggestive. It's not sexy. And most of all, it's not filth. It's just good, clean British fun. And if you believe that, you'll believe anything. We don't need no thought control No dark sarcasm in the classroom Teacher leave them kids alone
a choice of viewing now on BBC Two. You can either watch with that eye or that eye. Or you can come over here.